What's going on, guys? And this is going to be part two of my five-part series of my top eights. And my first bait was my first video was on crank baits, and these are not in order. These are not like my f my top five. You know, number five is my worst, and number one is my best. They're just random. This is just how I want to do it randomly. So this one, this video, this part two is on. Your football jig. I, know I can't get that in the camera real well. But your football jig. Yeah. Football jigs can be fished. In my, you know, not my opinion, but. It can be fished all year round. Cold water, warm water, don't matter. Murky, clear, stained, you know, yahoo, you who color. Yeah. You who color uh, water. Anything. Football jigs should always be tied on to someone's rod. Now, the weights I like to throw quarter ounce, like you just seen, which is the Bass Patrol jig, which for two ninety nine they're a great jig. Uh, quarter ounce, three eighth ounce, half, sometimes three eighth ounce, depending on how deep I am. But a quarter to three eighth ounce is what I typically like to throw, just because I don't really fish them. You know, I don't fish them twenty twenty. 25, 30 feet. My lakes are not that long, that deep. So, but when I, you know, if it's an occasional lake where it goes that deep, you know, I'm going to throw a half ounce, three, three quarter ounce jig. Now, the colors, like you see here, you know, that's just a straight, straight green pumpkin, brown jig. And this is a Pass Patrol jig, which is really actually pretty small. It's only about maybe a little over an inch this jig. Maybe two inch jig. Which is <laughs> really small and I like that little small profile when when the water is starting to warm up. You know? I just think you get a bit more on it. That's just my opinion. That's my experience. My confidence. Which you may have a difference but that's what I like to throw. And when I want to get that big jig will always get you that big bite. You're going to catch small fish of course. You're gonna catch small fish, but you're gonna be more likely to catch a, you know, a monster bass or a J football jig than you will any other lure. So, you know, a swim bait, obviously, or you know, a fountain rig. But a football jig will catch you that monster bass, and you need that kicker fish you need in the tournament when you got five, and you need to, or you got four bass, and you know, you need that big kicker fish. Or you need to start calling in the tournament. You want to go for those bigger fish. Throwing a football jig. I mean. They're just gonna flat out catch fish. They're just a. There is not a time when you, you, you know, can't throw a football jig. I mean, they're just good all year round. Here's black and blue, which is good for perfect, good for perfect for, um, you know, real dark, murky water, stained water. Black and blue is quarter ounce. Stained is a Shrike King. Shrike King makes good jigs, tour grades. But I always like to see. I cut that weed guard a little bit. Sorry, I'm not in the camera. But I cut that weegar a little bit. I'll take like half the weegar and snip it off when I'm fishing rocks and gravel and sand and mud on the bottom. Just because I won't be, I ain't likely to, you know, hook up. I'll keep that weegar on just in case, you know, that, that jig flips over real fast and I don't get hooked nothing. It gives me that little extra security. But, I mean, I, keep, I just keep it there because I like that. Colors, black and blue. Uh, you know, this is called, oh, uh, what's this, this is a Shrike King, I forget the color, but it's like a chartreuse yellow, black, browns, you know, brown flakes. Keep it simple with the browns, the blacks, the blues, and you can't go wrong with them colors, you know. So, uh, three eighth, quarter ounce is what I'll throw, three eighth, quarter ounce is what I'm going to throw 95% of the time. Because I like that smaller finesse presentation. I think I catch a bit more. And I I catch pretty big fish on a football jig. Uh, the best, my favorite, favorite trailer of all time. And I've tried a lot of different trailers. You know, Pocket Chunks, Pocket Seniors, uh, what else? what else? You know, beaver style baits. A couple of, like baby brush hogs on the back. You know, I've tried different, different. You know, even the the Evolve Vibra Grub, you could throw that on the back of a jig. 
<clears throat> eh, what I came down to is the Berkeley Chigger Fill on Green Pumpkin. But obviously, I'll, if I'm throwing a black and blue, I'll throw that. I'll put a black and blue trail on it. But 95% of the time, I'm throwing that black pump, black pump, green pumpkin jig trailer. And I, don't, I think the thing that really sets this apart from any other trailer is, I mean, look at them, how big those crawls are. They are. Oops, sorry about that. Put them in there. I mean, look at how big they are. They really just and they float. They, they're, they're somewhat, you know, they're somewhat buoyant, or however you say, I don't know. And they, fl you know, they float a little, so when you're sitting, when that football jay's sitting there, those, they're just going to rise up. They're going to rise up, and I think they're, that triggers a lot, a lot of the, a lot of my strikes. Here's even, I'd even like to, let's see if I can find a bigger one. I think that's like the smaller one. Yeah, here we go. Here's a bigger one. Look at how big them crawls are. Man. I think that's what set that this apart from any other crawl out there. Here's a big bite baits. I mean, they're okay. They're, uh, but I just don't have confidence in that lure. And that's what everyone should have your, their confidence, you know, bait. Whether well, it's your confidence jig, trailer, crank bait, you know, worm, anything. You throw what you're confident in. That's exactly. A beaver style trailer is even, you know, good on a finesse jig. You don't have really that much moving parts, and it's a real subtle action. Oh yeah, well, one last thing. Rod choice is, I think, really important with throwing a jig. This is a Bass Pro Shops Johnny Morris Carbon Light rod. This is a seven foot heavy extra fast tip. An extra fast tip is pretty crucial, I think, in when, when, when fishing jigs because it gives you that, you know, that soft action at the tip and, it's, you know, that rod can really load really easily. And when you're fishing a big, uh, you know, a heavier football jig, say a half ounce, three quarter rounds, when you have, when you really, you know, set that, that really hard hook set, you're going to rip out because it's so heavy in the front, you're going to rip that fish out you're going to rip that bait right out of the fish's mouth. So you want that extra fast tip so it's got a slower reaction time. I mean, it's not it's not nothing like a fiberglass rod, but it's, it's you know, it's there for a graphite rod. Uh, so it's 7 foot heavy extra fast tip. And I like the heavy for just the backbone. And then I got it on a Dial Alexa. And this is a 7 to 1 gear ratio. Which I like that fast gear ratio. Say you're fishing 20, 25, 30 feet deep, you need that fast gear ratio to really set that hook and drive that hook through the fish. And you need that, you need that extra gear ratio to, you need that fast gear ratio to do so. And when the fish is, you know, takes it and they start running off or they're running to you, you need to hurry up and run, you know, hurry up and reel in to pick up that slack to get that hook set. And if you have a slower gear ratio, like a 5 to 4, 6 to 3, 6 to 3 ain't awful, but the 7 to 1 is really going to get the job done real better. And, uh, that's my, uh, that's part 2 of the my top 5 baits, and it's a football jig. Stay tuned for number 3, coming out maybe, what's today, maybe Friday, uh, sometimes next week, I'm assuming, but it will probably be earlier. So check that out. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, like. Stay tuned.